computer. Welcome everyone to another session of the Mastermind Book Club. Tonight we are reviewing the second part of an important book which my colleague will tell you the name of it. Reggie Hilliard. Hello everyone, Reggie from the Mastermind Book Club. Focusing on as a CEO, David Diaz, who spoke of the second half of the book that we're covering, which is called Prosperity Magic by Anthony Norvell. So what I'm going to touch on, this book is power packed with so much information, so much vital information for you to be able to basically create a beautiful life if you want, right? Because it's all within you. But he touches on one thing that I'll focus on tonight, which is alchemy which is basically taking whatever you have at your disposal, whether the unseen, seen, or what have you, and turning it into the thing that you want that thing to be, or those things to be. So that is very powerful, 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 magical uh, power that we have, right? So if you were to then sit down with yourself and think certain thoughts a certain way, meditate, pray, a combination of things, right? You can actually turn anything, one thing, or things into the things that you desire. Back in the day, alchemy was more about turning gold, or things that weren't gold into gold, other metals that weren't gold into gold. But true alchemy is really being able to turn anything from one thing to another, and ideally to the things that you desire. So that's what I'll focus on is that point of alchemy, being an alchemist, which is something I call myself all the time, and if you actually employ that, and it sounds very kind of woo-woo or what have you, but it's not, because if you think about it, all the things that we have before us that we see in our visuals every day are things that came out of the unseen. So in some sense, or in total sense, those things were created through a form of alchemy. So please try em employing alchemy in your life, and you'll see how it, how it benefits you. Thank you, Reggie. And alchemy is a key word for this book. Charles Comer. Bang. Hey, everybody. CPC here for the Mastermind Book Club. The Miracles of Prosperity, um, the magic, uh, the magic. It says Miracles of Prosperity, uh, ma Miracles of Prosperity, magic. Well, I believe in miracles because miracles are God-ordained things. Magic, however, I really don't go for magic. Magic it, to me is trickery. It could be sorcery. It could be witchcraft. It could be anything. But magic is really just not knowing certain knowledge or certain principles. So for the word magic, I would love to replace that with principles. And then for the word miracle, I would love to replace that with God because miracles are God sources. So we we would say the, the, uh, the God prosperity of of principles, you know, uh, it, well, the books you read, you know, God's prosperity principles. I got it straight. Which just saying that, uh, in in my favorite book, in what is it, Second Peter one three, it talks about that you have everything within you pertaining to life and godliness. You already have what you need to be successful. You know, they talk about fake it till you make it. I don't believe in that either, because Believe it or not, if you seek who created you, you're already able to achieve that which it is that you are to become. Let me say that once again. If you seek the one who created you, you already have within you the ability to become who you were already intended to, to become. So a lot of these things that the book talks about are principles for life. Like I said, you have the skills, you you have the ability. Uh, in, my, in my favorite book, it also talks about that your skills and talents will bring you before great men and and cause you to 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 be exalted among them. And when I say exalted, it's just that what you have in you is like a is is a pre or a predestined plan for you. All you have to do is seek that plan for your life. There is no magic. Just follow the principles. Thank you. Charles Comer, CPC, there is no magic. Just follow the principles. And alchemy, as Reggie said, very, very important words. And I, I just want to add 
very simple words to this. Number one is affirmations. Yes. Many of us start them, but we don't persist. As many people say, persistency is the essence to success. Be persistent. Daily, even if you're tired, you got to continue. I've been tired. I haven't continued, but I know that I need to continue. That's one. Two, sometimes you're going to have rough times. That's one way to look at it. That's what, that's what Norville tells us. That's one way to look at it. You're going to have rough times. Maybe there are better choice words in there. As in, I haven't fulfilled my purpose yet, but this is part of the process. Instead of saying you're having rough time, instead of saying the worst, it could be part of the process. Simpler words. You don't have to go and be a rocket scientist. You don't have to have a 200 IQ or, or something like that. I mean, just be yourself, be natural, and think positive words. This book requires us to study it in order to understand it and to apply it into our daily lives. This is one of those books that we need to just say, okay, I'm going to take the next X amount of time until this happens, I'm going to do exactly what this says. So this is CEO David Diaz, part of the Mastermind Book Club here, signing off until next week where we'll review another empowering book at the beginning of the year. We're taking a week or two off. Take care.